Ecologists say caribou herds and other wildlife have been impacted by the construction of the Wilson Reservoir and other industrial activities in the area. After 30 years of research conducted by the Fish and Wildlife Compensation Program, environmental scientists have developed models, seasonal range maps and protective measures to help increase caribou populations. The primary uh, message, I guess, with caribou is that uh, the populations um, have been, we don't know, first we didn't know much about them, but since we're starting to know more about them, we're seeing that they're declining. So we want to know why, we want to know, understand uh, how to uh, protect them better, how to manage for them better. One measure was to build a maternity pen to help during the caribou birthing season. Some of them are declining so rapidly that they could have been extirpated by now if we didn't jump in and do something. And so these are more emergency type measures. Uh, for example, one thing we're doing is we have a maternity pen to protect cows and calves during the calving season. And we've actually been able to take that herd now from 32 and bring it up to 64 animals. So we're on the increase. increase. It had been on a very steep decline for the previous decade. So now we've actually stopped that and got it increasing again. First Nation elders at West Moberly noticed a decline in caribou populations around 40 years ago and an order was passed that they would not hunt the caribou until populations became more sustainable. The hunting of caribou was an important tradition for First Nations in the area and with caribou populations declining there is now a gap in their traditional way of life. I went to a, to a gathering once where they had caribou meat and it was very, very tasty and tender. Uh, so for me, I knew what we were missing, but at West Moberly, there's a lot of people there that don't know what they're missing because the elders had said, no more hunting of caribou until they can be sustainably harvested again to support our people uh, sus sustenance wise. First Nation elders from West Moberly say the population decline is caused by a number of factors. Some that stand out is the industrial development and construction of the Williston Reservoir, as well as the amount of hunting licenses being sold to traveling hunters who don't live in the Peace District. I find that nobody's looking into it or trying to implement it as a new technique of harvesting, harvesting a forest. Instead, they go in and they just nuke a landscape of everything that's there. And everything that's there is the habitat of some animal. And they just kill that spot. And although ecologists can't say for sure if the reservoir construction was the leading cause in the decline of caribou populations in the area, they say it's important to continue their research so they can take measures to ensure caribou populations can survive and thrive for generations to come. Hey, my feeling about that is, is that uh, with the strong correlation that seems to be everywhere that caribou populations are declining with the increase in reduction of habitat with the, or with the increase in disturbance, if we're the ones that are disturbing the land, then ethically, first as a human, then as a biologist, I think we, are, uh, we have to uh, push the point. We've got to try to figure out if what, what we can do is going to actually be effective and the caribou populations, once we get them to the level they're at, that they can be sustainable. And, and I think we have, to, we have to do that. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.